record resale. Um, well, I love it when, well, I just kind of, kind of did. Anyway, I didn't have to go to a storage unit. Um, a customer came in and started unloading her car into the store and um yeah i ended up buying everything so let's turn around and look see what we got can you see unloaded all this stuff in this this tote here i brought it's all disney plushies this is all disney plushies but she brought this in i'm gonna have to price everything this is home co this is i don't know um where this is from I've got these little dogs and she had six or seven of them and we got these little bears we had five or six of these A trinket box there's some stuff in here we got cookie jars cookie jars cookie jars Disney cookie jars all over the, the floor here and all over my counter up here and all these boxes here and all these boxes of items I don't even know what's in them uh, she was trying to show me some of the stuff and I was trying to take care of customers so and let's see if I can find some place here that we can put the phone I have this lovely little stand here and we'll start start looking at some items here okay we're going to try to start pricing some things Let's see if you can see me into the store yesterday or christmas which means i'm gonna have to sit on them For months, I do not like all this tape on here, but she felt it necessary to tape everything. Okay, I've never seen a cookie jar that was microwave safe and dishwasher safe. That's a new one on me. Okay, so we have a Santa cookie jar here. Let's open up our Poshmark yet. I mean our Google Lens right here. And we'll take a picture. See what it comes at. Let's see if I can find the same one. see this I don't see the exact same one here this one's very close it's on Etsy and let's see how much they two hundred and seventy one eighty seven yeah, I don't think so. Um, I'm just going to put... Yeah, 
and then our price will be six dollars so that somebody can make a profit and then it will go into the store for Christmas I'll be right back okay so this cookie jar is clearly marked Pioneer Woman and it's a dog oops sorry it's a dog and see if I can turn it around so it just looks better from the this side of the camera and it, it's Pioneer Woman she put a piece of tape on it that said it was dog named Goofy on the front I don't see the name Goofy um, but it does say Pioneer Woman um, she put it was $49.99, dollars and $48.83 so I think we'll just look it up and see what we can see on it get dad's phone here Google Lens tap the shutter button see what comes up the Pioneer Woman cookie jar on Etsy is $30 um, on eBay they have it for $56 so that's what we will go buy and we'll sell it for $10 this pioneer woman is rather expensive Okay, I'll be right. And this is what we're looking at. And it's by D. Morgan from 1997. And we will look and see. Okay. So this one on eBay without a frame is $30. So that's really good. And we'll sell it for what's one third of 30? 30. 30. Ten, we'll go for eight. That way people can make a profit if they try to sell it. And then I'll go find a place to hang it. Very much needs cleaning. She had taped it. Did you find anything? I did not. She might have. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. I need to dust really badly. Exactly. That's what I'm doing right here. <laughs> okay. Hopefully soon I'll be able to start getting storage units again. My father-in-law just passed away. He was my partner in storage unit. So uh, yeah. it's gonna be a little while. I gotta get some of this out of yeah. here before I can bring a lot more in. Plus, do I still you, do you buy stuff. I well, I don't intentionally buy stuff <laughs> unless it's just brought in and put in front of me, and I'm said, "Well, I can't say no." Right, you know, because I I want to keep my lease on the <laughs> on the store. So. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great afternoon. On eBay, right here at the start, she's $55. So we'll just mark eBay $55. And us, a third of that would be. I don't know. I can't do math backwards. 55 divided by 3. So let's just go with 10. Because I don't know how to do the math. When you're dyslexic, it makes things rough. Okay, now I gotta go put this with the Christmas stuff. Come go with me. 
because we are going to lower the price of this beautiful cedar chest with a drawer under it from a hundred down to fifty five dollars. Can you see it? There it is. From a hundred down to fifty five dollars. So now it is marked down. Hopefully it'll sell. I think because this is a hundred dollars as well, I will also mark it down to fifty five dollars. Let's scratch this out. And then I'll go get a tag that says $55. Okay, so here's another cookie jar. We will open. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's another dog. Two dogs. Alright. There is this. Is it taped? No, it's not taped. It's not chipped. Very cute. What does it ring up for on eBay? Okay, let's see. It's a St. Bernard cookie jar. And on eBay, it's $44.99. Do you see that? So we'll mark that. Well, that's not the same one. Okay, there's this one. See if we can find the there it is. Sorry. On eBay it's only forty dollars. Oh he's got a mark on his ear. How sad is that? Oh well. Apparently this lady who all this stuff belonged to collected cookie jars. And it's starting to, oh, it's got a crack. And it's crazing. Okay, so. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Right here, there's a crack. In the, and this is crazing where the enamel uh, the glaze is starting to break. So this cookie jar, sadly, this cookie jar is of no value. I cannot sell it because nobody's going to want to buy a cracked, broke cookie jar. So it'll go in the rubbish bin. Let me find another one. All right, so now we've got this little angel boy cookie jar. I don't know what you can see. Let me turn it around so I can see. All right, this little angel boy cookie jar. His head comes off. There's no cracking and it's not crazing. So let's come up and see what he would be worth. Let's see, on Etsy he's $37 and on eBay he's $39. Baby teddy bear um, comes off. It's got a little bit of chipping right there and just a tiny little smudge of a chip right there like a flea bite i think that can be forgiven all right can you see here Let's roll up. on ebay it is 38 dollars on etsy it's 35 dollars all right so we'll ebay 30 the reason I'm going by eBay is because the resellers that come in here to the store and purchase to resell, most of them resell on eBay. And we're going to sell it for $8. Definitely, probably not going to make my $180 back. Let's go find him a home. All right, now we have a Weiss cookie jar. It's signed. Um, pull the head off here. It's a very heavy head. It's not chipped. It says Avon. 
How can that be Weiss if it's Avon? Oh, she really, really got me. Well, let's look it up online and see what it's worth. An Avon Bear cookie jar is $38. I am not going to market Weiss because um, it doesn't say Weiss on it. It does have a signature on it, but I can't read the signature. So, but it says $35 on Etsy and $40 on eBay. Okay, so here we have a small Donald Duck cookie jar in very good condition. Let's look him up. It's if the results come up. All right, here we go. Here it is on Poshmark for 25. And I don't see it on eBay anywhere. So I guess we just have to go with the Poshmark price of 25. And we'll go with $9. Because I had to pay $5 a piece for them. I need to make a little bit of profit. Got some schmutz on top of it from her tape. Alright, let's go find it at home. So here we have a Mickey Mouse one like the Donald Duck. The lid comes off there's no cracks let's see what this is for on ebay okay, there it would be it's on poshmark for 97 dollars on ebay for 70. so we'll do ebay 7. so this time we've got minnie mouse and she's holding little flowers in front of her little house let's see what she goes with the results Here she is on eBay for $65, and this lady wrote eBay $79.95. We're going to go $9 on that. And let's go find her a home. All right, here we have Goofy, which I already have a buyer for this one, so I just need to know what I need to price it at. So let's now this lady's price and all the tape she put on it says it's eighty-one dollars. There's the there it is on Poshmark. It is eighty-one dollars. And I'm not finding it on eBay. So I will put All right, let's go back up here where we found it on Poshmark. $81 on Poshmark. And we'll do it for $9. Alright, and this one's going to be put back over here behind my desk for when the lady comes in to purchase the other goofy items we have for her. 
somebody just snapped my picture. Okay, hold on. All right, this little guy, as cute as he is, sadly, his feather has been broken and very poorly repaired, and he's got a bad chip out of the back. So he will not be resellable. Let's find something else. Now, we've got this little wooden guy. He's German. I think he's a mail carrier or something. I'm not sure. I have a sister-in-law who's German, but I myself am not German. So let's see what he looks up for. I guess there's Steinbach because I keep seeing that name come up. I'm going to do some more looking. Hold on. Okay. Um, he's not listed on eBay. I am going to list him on eBay because the other Steinbach German pieces like this, uh, this one is a beekeeper. Um, the other ones are the smoking ones. They're called smokers are listed for around $65. So I'm going to list this for $50 and then sell it in the store for $15. Let's see what we got coming up next. Alright, this is a, another little Steinbach piece. I am also going to be listing him on eBay. All right, he is on Etsy for $65. And I, okay, one second. Yeah, Etsy. Etsy. He's on Ruby Lane for $40. Wait. Here he is. Here he is on eBay. Let's see what he cost. Alps man. Visit. $25. So, I'm going to list him for $25 on eBay. Okay. We have his Shih Tzu drinking cup. Let's check to see if it has any value. This one is $12 on Amazon. So I guess I can charge $4 for it and find it at home. We have here is a Mickey Mouse sippy cup. Oops. Let's see what its value is. Top. Ah, it says uh, at Walmart they're only five dollars. Um, okay, so this person had these love pink dogs. I, I think they're Victoria's Secret things. Yeah, they're Victoria's Secret things. So let's see how much. And it brings up real dogs. <sighs> Hate when it does that. On eBay, it values at $11, and on Poshmark, it's $11. So, I'm thinking... thinking $4 would be good. Let's go find it at home. This one... Let's see if we can find it. See now if that, whoa, look at there, right there, look there, $350 on Macari. Wow. But on eBay, look right there, it's only $25. So. You gotta watch where you're looking at. Okay, now we've got this really pretty little Japanese cup. 
sake tea I don't know what goes in it the espresso it is not marked on the bottom so I don't know let's just look it up and see what we okay it looks like on eBay it's $38 on Etsy it's $30 Okay, I'm going to tag so a market and find it at home. Okay, and the last thing we have to find a price for is this ab slide. Before I get into my own stuff I brought from home. See what it's worth. Well, it shows on eBay it's $15, so I think I should be able to make four. Let's go find it at home. Well, actually, let's go find it at home. Show you. Now, all of this and all of this, except not this, this this flower arrangement is just a spring thing. These are not listed. All of these items are listed on eBay. These items are not listed on eBay. Our wall is getting full. Uh, because we have these Hummel plaques. This is where I put them. And this says dog paw prints or something. I don't know. Is it on your heart or something? Okay. <coughs> Let's go find a place. This is the tote of Disney that I brought in that I still have to price for myself. I've got this cute little duck, this teacup. All these look pretty much the same. Then we've got this one. Oh, I got to price that one. And then the little precious moments. There's the angel. There's the angel cookie jar. Um, there's a little angel. There's silver birds. There's a little candle. There's candles that I brought in. That's a candle. Then I mixed the bears in with the bears I already have. There's a new angel here. There's the little tiki cup, and there's the little memory thing. There's the little chi or Mexican boy. There's the little Christmas mouse. Um, here's an espresso cup. Here's an espresso cup. Here's an espresso cup. And these are left in. There's two little trinket boxes that come in. The choir boy and the bear and then the bears. And the big bear cookie jars back here. This is the German glass. Um, over here is the Shih Tzu drinking cup. And that's all the rest of the Donald Duck cups. There's a free Bible. Um, let's put this down here on the floor. It's a good place for it. In here I've got the dog's cookie jar, the Disney cookie jars, um, did I put anything else in here? I've got an orange little table runner, um, oh that's the wind blowing that, I was going to say, it sounds like my shelves are about to fall, here's this cute little guy, He's four dollars on eBay as well. This is the flan pawn. The basic flan. All of this cookware. This. This. These. They. These. They will be twenty five percent off next week. So. Next week. This is a hand painted. Uh, it's on, listed on Poshmark for thirty-five dollars. These are two dollars a piece. I found them, but they were only like I don't know four or five dollars on eBay. This one is they're signed Ed Cointreau, 
coin true on eBay. They're $14 a piece. I have them for five. I have this beautiful, cool little white bell. Not beautiful, but cool. I have this is a Libby glass. It's listed for $4. It's Christmas decoration. There's only one of them, sadly. Um, I still have the truck ramps for $75. Y'all can look at that. I have, I put these three out here at $4 a piece. These three. And here's this little choir girl for, or boy for $2. Um, this dog, this is a uh, pioneer woman. This dog, it lists for $56 on eBay. I've got it for 10 here is the Shih Tzu Pupperweight. There's the cat. It's East 1160. And this is a dog treat. And the teddy bear cookie. This is a dog treat thing. And this is the cookie jar. And here's the big Disney pencil. This was on lists on eBay for $30. I've got it for eight. This is a little Disney stocking. I've got it for three dollars. Here's the pink pups. Here's the poo and piglet. Here's the <coughs> oinking cookie jar. These are the Fantasia tins. Uh, here's the eight little bears. Um. I just threw all these little things down into the one dollar bin. Do I have anything new? This cookware will all be 25% off next week. <coughs> the toaster included. And we have a microwave back here. I got I gotta price this one. We have a mic a 700 watt microwave back here. Great for a camper or something. I need to clean it up. That's why it's not out for sale yet. Then, here's the home was where the paw prints are. I put anything new in here. I just brought the the Easter in here and have it set. Um, other than that, there's not anything new in here. Okay. I thought I had more. I guess they must have sold last week when Jesse was here and I just, I was on the phone with the attorney and didn't hear the call. But, this is where the Christmas went. Down here, that's where my extra coffee is. That's Christmas. And this one back here is all Christmas. So, I'm storing Christmas. Oh, I got a Christmas coffee cup that needs to go down there too. So... Yeah, this is this is everything new in the store. I haven't found a home yet for this. I'll sell it if somebody wants to buy it. But and this is um, my friend Henry purchased it the day I brought it into the store. These are still really beautiful. I'm gonna have to change the price on this because it maxes on eBay for fourteen dollars, and I've got it listed for fifteen. So, I'm going to have to lower the price on that so somebody could profit. I've got this little dog picture frame. It's still in the plastic. It takes a little stick to hold it to make it stand up. And then there's the early Sw Swedish 19th century blue glass bowl. So, um, excuse my runny nose. It's really cold outside. I just turned the heat on in the store, so, because it was getting kind of chilly in here. I didn't get that shelf very straight. To you, it might look straight, but this is actually higher up than this. And then we've got this lamp that holds pencils or pens or whatever. It's a desk lamp. And then I got my red, white, and blue lamp with a white shade. This says Mrs. Always Right and Mr. Right. So, 
yeah, this is... So this is what we've got. Um, this is a bin that i got to find room to be able to sort it out. My shelf that was right here is now right here because it fell off the wall. I didn't put it in studs, which I should have. And here's the cool gator. You put it in your grass and it makes it look like the gators in the grass. So, yeah, if you see anything you want, come on over to the store. Um, and if my prices are too high for you to resell on eBay and make a profit, then... Let me know about it because we can work a deal. I am not saying that this is Cherish Teddy. I'm just saying it's $4 because it doesn't list Cherish Teddy. See, this one is Cherish Teddy. You can see that it's Cherish Teddy. But the lady told me that some of these were actual... See, this is Boyd's Bears. And I don't know if they're Boyd's Bears or not. Um, I had listed a Hummel piece... Uh, let's see which one is this. I listed this as Hummel because it says Gobel Hummel on it. And I was informed by a watcher on my eBay page that that is not Hummel. That is made to look like Hummel. So I had to change my listing to be a Hummel-like listing. So... Because I don't want somebody to purchase something knowing it's not a Hummel. And then once they get it, I've had people do this to me with Disney items. They know it's not what, um, like the watch band. I sold a watch, a Disney watch, and the watch band was, when he took it out of the, pla out of the package, because it had never been out of the package. And he uh, straightened out the watch band. The inside of it cracked. And I offered him a $10 refund. So that he could purchase a new band for the watch. And he wanted me to refund him the entire amount for the watch. But he didn't want to send the watch back to me. And so I sent him a return label to be able to send the watch, my t-shirt showing. Um, I sent him a return label to be able to send the watch back. And after about three weeks, I contacted eBay and I'm like, he didn't send the watch back. What am I supposed to do? eBay stopped the, the claim on it and said I didn't have to do anything else. And they, they actually released my funds. So because um, I, w I want to do everything as honest as possible on eBay. And if I don't know, all I know is what I look at when I look it up or when it says something on the bottom of That's all I know. Um, I'm not an expert. So please forgive me if I list something and it. it's not what I list it as. Let me know and I'll change the listing really easily. Um, okay. So... Thanks for being here. This is the Thursday video of what's new in the store. And, um, yeah. So, come on up to the store. And if you buy it out of my store, cheaper you can buy it cheaper than you can buy it on eBay. And come to my store and pick it up. Because I do offer local pickup on all my eBay items. So... If you buy it on eBay and want to come to the store and pick it up, you know, you're still going to pay eBay price. I, I'm not going to give you my store price when you purchased it on eBay because you've already paid for it. So, um, you just have to show me that you're the one that paid for it on eBay. Okay, so like, comment, share, subscribe. We're still trying to get 500 subscribers by May. We were at 163, I think, yesterday. 168, I'm not sure. 
We had one video that has had over 14,000 views. I changed the title on the video because I was sick and tired of people telling me it's clickbait, telling me I don't know how to use a camera, telling me that I'm making them dizzy and sick and because the camera's moving all over and because I wasn't close enough to my son when he was magnet fishing, I couldn't get down the steep hill and the slick rocks. I have a bad back. I am on disability. I'm sorry. If, if it made people upset, well, so be it. But we changed the title. It no longer says found dead body magnet fishing. It, Butch changed it to something like disgusting found a dead rabbit or something like that. So, you know, I want to try to make people happy. But I don't have to take a beating for it. Y'all have a great day. Enjoy your rest of your week. And come on down to the store and purchase something. There's many, many things in here that I know you just can't live without. Do something nice for somebody and get lockered.